everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special assistant. This is great and she's going to be accompanying me today in this wonderful endeavor here in the kitchen. So we're just going to go ahead and jump in and show you guys what's going on, aren't we? That's right. That's right. Okay, so we just got, or I just got, technically, this lovely cookbook from the one and only Jesse James Decker. Please excuse this rip that is already here. That's okay. It's only day two, so I'm sure it'll get disgusting. So it's called Just Feed Me. If you haven't heard of it, then where have you been? You must go get it. It's amazing, and we are going to be doing the pumpkin chocolate chip cookies today because it is fall and that is the vibe that we're wanting to give out but i will tell you you think these are more like muffins yes we made them yesterday and they really i don't know if you can consider them cookies per se i feel like they're like the top of a muffin they're very like gooey. like spongy soft. yeah soft gooey all the things so but they are delicious so we are going to make those for you today so the very first thing that we are going to do is preheat the oven to 375. okay i'm going to preheat it and you guys should um you guys should all gather your uh, kitchen supplies and make these with us that's right and then we can all try them together but ours is going to be a little faster because i'm sure we'll fast forward so, pre oven at 375, that is simple enough, and then we are going to line a baking sheet with parchment paper. Parchment paper, made. And this is our gorgeous rose gold baking sheet. It is very important to make sure you have a pleasing aesthetic. Perfect. While baking, or else nothing will turn out good at all. So we have parchmentized this baking sheet. Step two. Okay. Now what? Now in a large bowl, we're gonna to stir together our wet ingredients. So we are gonna measure those out first. So very first thing that you need is 100% pure pumpkin puree. And we need one cup of that. These little what are these? Um, Little spatulas. You tend spatulas. <laughs> um, they're like, what's the texture? What's the um, rubbery? Rubbery. Yes, they're like rubbery consistency, and they are amazing. When you're trying to get the remnants, you know, around the side of the bowl, and you just can't do it with one of those nasty, lame peasant wooden spoons. That is when you get one of these little rubber guys, and it just. Phew, you'll see. You'll see later because I'll show you. So you should all get these. I will um, link them down below. If you'd like to get them, then you can. So we're gonna do a cup. Oh, put your hair back. Totally put your hair back. Uh, we're gonna do a pop, a pop, <laughs> a cup of pumpkin. So hold up my cup. Thank you, assistant. Some people think that pumpkin um, is disgusting, and I think those people are disgusting um, because pumpkin is whew, pumpkin is amazing. I had this recipe for. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put that into the um, wet ingredients bowl, which is this. So, um, I have this recipe for pumpkin donut holes, and they're just like little pumpkin balls and then you dip them in like butter and cinnamon sugar so then they're like cinnamon sugar covered pumpkin donuts. Um, and they are like the most amazing thing ever even for people who don't like pumpkin like my disgusting older sister corn. <laughs> okay now rinse that. Okay so um, now we mix in sugar, oil, vanilla, milk, and egg. No there's this is the wet ingredients, so the sugar's not wet, but it's going in there. Okay, for sugar, how much sugar do we need? One cup of sugar, and I actually already have a little cup sitting in my sugar container. How convenient is that? So I'm going to 
Doesn't it look like like glaciers when you look at sugar? It looks like yeah. glaciers. Glacier. Okay, so I'm gonna pour in the sugar. Mmm, barely any sugar in this recipe. So it's definitely good if you're on some sort of diet. Um, we're just like looking for a healthy lifestyle. Um, these cookies are absolutely perfect. Um, okay, now oil. We need half a cup of oil. You already knew. Pop till pop pop. Half a cup of oil. Half a cup. <laughs> Pour that in. I was just showing it being poured in. Whoops. I'm sure you can see it. I don't know. Okay, perfect. Now vanilla. So two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. I actually learned today mm -hmm, that I hate almond extract. And unfortunately, I learned that as I was making cinnamon rolls that I was extremely excited about. Um, it actually tastes like a mixture between cough medicine and like something disgusting. A teaspoon of milk. So I think I just used the teaspoon. Oh, you did it. You did it. I just washed it. Oh my gosh, you're so great. That's why I love having an assistant. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. I was, I hope you guys can see exactly how I poured that. It, like, I'm just like really a big perfectionist. I pretty much do everything like perfectly, um, especially here in the kitchen. <laughs> and yeah, actually, no. I live with a perfectionist. That would be my corn. She's standing right behind the camera. She's a perfectionist. I really wish I would have gotten some of that gene, but honestly, I just like to get things done as quick as possible, which is one of the reasons why some things don't turn out how they're supposed to. Okay, so now I'm going to crack this egg. Um, can I get a paper towel, please? Actually, when I was making this recipe for the first time, I had my sweet little egg sitting on the counter, and <laughs> and when I turned around, she rolled away, and she she went splat. So on the ground? Yeah, right on the ground. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have been recording it, but I wasn't. So okay, so one egg just went in. I stir together pumpkin puree, sugar, oil, vanilla, should, milk, and egg. So that's that. Should record above me. Yes. Okay. So we are stirring up our wet ingredients. My sweet little assistant is doing so. Right there, girl. Good job. <laughs> so this is becoming a lovely pumpkin mixture. It looks pretty delicious to me who likes pumpkin, but probably pretty disgusting to anyone who doesn't. So there she is. Okay, she looks gorgeous. Okay, so now we're gonna set this bowl over here to lie and wait. She can be waiting for her sweet little turn. Okay, now we're gonna whisk together. So will you grab a whisk for me? Uh, flour, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, and salt. So, flour. Your <laughs> your bun is so tall. Two, I know. <laughs> Two cups of all-purpose flour. Two cups of all-purpose flour. While you're doing that, oh, did you hear that? That's a preheat. She is ready. Um, flour. Okay, I'll get the baking powder. And this recipe is awesome because it calls for baking powder and baking soda. So even if you get confused between baking powder and baking soda, like me, it doesn't matter because you're going to use both. So, perfect. Baking powder. That's this little guy. And he's going to have, um, we're going to have two teaspoons of him. Good job with the flour, AG. Two teaspoons of the baking powder. These, um, these pumpkin chocolate chip cookies are going to my grandma for just being a kind lady. Um, but me and Grace are still going to do a little taste testing at the end to make sure that we absolutely killed this recipe, like I'm sure we will. And then one teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, Anna Grace, do you want to get the cinnamon together? How much? Cinnamon, a teaspoon, which I have right here. So there you go. Here, I'll give it to you. So she's gonna get a teaspoon of the ground cinnamon. Have y'all ever done the uh, the cinnamon challenge? Because we're about to do that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're not. But I have a video on Facebook. It's so disturbing. I probably should like archive it or whatever you do so that no one can find it again. But it's like me and Courtney and um, I'm Mary Kate and Emily, I think. And we are doing the cinnamon challenge. I don't remember what grade we were in, but yeah, it's a pretty, uh, pretty disturbing video. It's like during that stage where you, you know we thought we were really cool. Half a teaspoon of salt, which this salt sucks. I don't know why I do that. Um, 
it's during that stage when like we thought that like we were probably the coolest people to you know walk the planet which you know was relatively true but okay so we're gonna whisk this all together and then we're gonna add it to the pumpkin mixture until a soft dough forms. Did we already get the baking soda? Yes. So let me let me show you. Now we're going to pour the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. So yes. <laughs> Because I messed up the bowl sizing, we are actually going to pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. I don't think this will mess anything up as we are just combining them, but if it does, that's on me. That's totally on me. I don't think it should. Okay, let's take out this little whisker. I'll hand that to my sweet assistant. And she is going to mix this together because she is the queen of mixing things together. Oh, okay. See what I was talking about? with these little rubber things like look how much more you can't see this i'm sure but look how much more it gets off of the sides very bad example but it really does just like look at this look at that look at scrapage it. it gets so much more off and then you just scrape 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 i mean that's amazing we love that so now my little grape is going to mix this up and I'm going to go put this in the washing area, sink. <laughs> Most people call that a sink, yeah. Now we are going to um, mix this up. Oh, no, why am I holding this spoon? We have to fold in the chocolate chips, duh, duh. The most important part. Does your household have a big Ziploc of chocolate chips that you keep in the freezer for a little <laughs> little snack you gotta get a little handful of chocos a little snack because we don't i feel like this looks all half actually. cups it does this this batch looks better than yesterday now i don't want to eat my words <laughs> but it does half cups of chocolate chips measuring chocolate chips in my opinion is just kind of like why because you can have as many chocolate chips or as few chocolate chips as you freaking want but we are going to follow the recipe with one, one and a half. It does look like a lot, but just bear with me. Ooh, that's a cool fun background. Thanks. I'm going to show the, I'm going to show the viewers. Do you know who that is? Yeah, it's Joe Burrow. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to show you guys my little sister grapes. Can we, how do we get these Snapchats off? She's a very popular little girl. Look at her little fun background. It's a live video. Oh, it's a live? <laughs> Wait, oh, yes, there it is. Oh my gosh, it's a compilation of Joe Burrow. <laughs> Let's tag him in this video. Oh, uh, is he the girlfriend? Um, I don't think so. Maybe, I don't think. That's adorable. Well, if he does have a girlfriend, she better watch out. That's right. Because Anna Grape is coming through. That's right. And what she wants, she gets. Uh huh. I told y'all. Okay. We are just going to scoop them in onto this sheet pan. Okay. Um. So it says, "What are you looking for?" I'm just looking at you. Okay. It says to do. It says working in batches. Scoop spoonfuls of dough onto the prepared pan and smooth over any rough edges. I don't have time. Mm -hmm. I like my bite size to be able to fit in the palm of my hand. Oh, Jesse, that's sweet. But bite size, no. Just kidding. These are going to be kind of small because they're for my grandma. My grandma's a small lady. Okay, so here is our first pan of the pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. They look amazing. I do feel like I should probably smooth them out like she said, but I also do feel like I do not feel like doing that. So I'm not going to. But I'm going to go ahead and put these in and then I'm going to do another pan because we have a good amount of dough left in there. So I will see you guys when these things are ready to devour. 
Hey, they are fresh out of the oven. They are looking divine. They look pretty tasty. They still feel kind of like muffiny, like we were talking about before, but they look more cookie like this time. So I don't know because we did everything the same, but we will give them a taste test and let you guys know. Are you in position? Yeah. Okay, now we are going to. Hang on, let's see. It says, cool cookies slightly before moving them to a wire rack. Wire rack. To cool completely. <laughs> so, okay. So what does cool slightly mean? Like 20 seconds? Cause that's how long we just waited. So let's go ahead and do it. So my little grape here is gonna transfer them. Now, it is officially the time that you, my lip just got stuck. <laughs> the time that you guys have all been waiting for. Let's cheers. <laughs> okay, now let's cheers, please. Okay. Probably gonna fall. Mm. Bless my soul. Bless my soul. What out of 10? 11? 12. 12. I mean, these just got a 12 out of 10. These are amazing. Um, oh, Aspen wants to be in the video. Aspen, come here. Um, these are amazing. These are incredible. <laughs> she won't need it. These are incredible. If you don't have this cookbook, go get it. Make these immediately. And... We'll be back. Me and my great here will be back with some more um, some more recipes. This morning we did the sausage balls and the Hawaiian roll breakfast sandwiches. Absolutely amazing. I would have filmed that, but I just wasn't in the right state of mind. Um, too sleepy. Sausage balls were incredible. Mm -hmm. Hawaiian roll breakfast sandwiches I want to have every single day for the rest of my life for breakfast. They were amazing. So we're definitely going to make some more things. Maybe a dinner recipe next. If we're feeling wild and crazy. Dinner time around here is a little hectic. So who knows if that will be a good filming time. But we will definitely come at you soon. With some more cooking videos. If you guys enjoyed this. So please like our video. Subscribe. Comment. Share. Comment. Give us all kinds of exciting things. If you've made these before. Tell us if you are going to. Tell us if you made these with us. Tell us. And we will see you all soon. Goodbye. Bon appetit, you know what I mean?